Hello to everyone visiting Farbad today. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. I'm happy to say that the Carnal Cavalcade is officially ready to kick off. But before we begin, I have a very important announcement to make. Some of you may have heard rumors going around. Last night, Gaspar Dillon, CEO of Vegas Films, sadly passed away unexpectedly. I'm not at liberty to disclose what took place. I'm sure more details will be revealed at a later date. Now, I understand that some people may object to us moving forward with the festival. However, Gaspar was a man of his industry. He wanted this event to succeed as much as anyone. That's why we've decided to proceed to fulfill his wish. We hope you all can understand. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. The growth of our film industry owes a lot to the prosperity of our country in recent times. There are some skeptics out there who say once the good times come to an end, we'll become divided all over again. But I'm sure you all know as well as I do that when it comes to the silver screen, Race, ethnicity, and nationality don't matter a bit. 
Everyone in the audience is equal and gets to enjoy the greatest experience we can offer. Gaspar Dillon left his dream unfulfilled, and for him, this little show business of ours will reach heights he scarcely dared to hope for. All right, enough rambling from me. It's time for everyone to relax and forget their troubles. Bathe in this sea of beauty that makes even the goddess herself blush. That's right. I'm talking about all these gorgeous girls I have with me who've descended upon Tharban, the city of pleasure. Okay, everyone, all together now. Get ready for the ride of your lives. Here we go! Let, Let the Carl Cavalcade begin! begin. It's been 10 years, a whole decade, since I grafted those disparate branches together. It's time to witness just what sort of fruit that garden will bear now that it has blossomed in full. Oh, aren't you a troublemaker? Goodness me. But I suppose as a relative of sorts, I owe it to the offspring of the heretics to watch over them. See just how they've grown. And now, before the main award ceremony, I'd like to take this opportunity to announce the winners of the Film and Actor Prizes. First, the Tharbad Film Festival's first award for outstanding achievement goes to... Golden Blood, directed by Salvatore Gotti of Vegas Film. Next, the Tharbad Film Festival's first ever, most prestigious Leon Dor goes to... Wolves Requiem, directed by Leslie Lam of Kowloon Pictures. Ah, next time, we'll see who has the last laugh. <laughs> Be gentle with your revenge when the time comes, yeah? Moving on to the Actor Awards. The winner 
for Outstanding Actor is... Lafar Osnavour for his lead performance in Wolves Requiem. <laughs> Meanwhile, the award for Best Actor goes to... Albert Granger for his leading role in Perfect Driver 2. Next, the winner for Outstanding Actress is... Judith Lanster for her lead performance in Golden Blood. And finally, the award for Best Actress goes to... Nina Fenley, the lead actress of Wolves Requiem. Well, you did it, Nina. Congratulations! You've managed to beat the pants off me. Judith, thank you. I couldn't have done it without such an amazing film. I can't believe it's finally happened. Nina Fenley has surpassed Judith Lanster as an actress. We're seeing history unfold right before our eyes. Magazines are bound to have a field day with this tomorrow. On that note, those of you with invitations are free to proceed to the award reception atop the hotel. Everyone else, there's plenty more excitement left in store, so don't go anywhere. Oh yeah! Now the real fun begins, baby! Time for part two of my carnal cavalcade. Let's bring out some new guys and girls. Got it! Is that? Hey, what's going on? What's wrong, Shahina? Are you okay? Are you feeling tired? I can take over if you... Tell me, you're not satisfied just being some substitute for your sister, are you? You are better than that. You want to shine yet brighter, don't you? To prove that you deserved the spotlight from the start. Then shine. Shine golden as the sun and consume everything around you with your brilliant rays. I need to shine. Shine for Sara. Brighter than her. More, more. I have to shine more! Ah! What the? Oh. Have 
everyone should shine together. Huh? What's wrong, you guys? <laughs> I feel like I've jumped straight into the screen. Dude, are you okay? Shut up! Don't get in our way! <laughs> What's all this commotion? Hell. Everyone, get ready to suppress... Damn! You all too? Don't tell me you're trying to crash the party, sir. That's not very funny. Yeah, Inspector. Come on, enjoy it. Enjoy yourself with the rest of us. This ain't good. Shahina! Is that mask? Shit! Guys, look over there! acting like this no they're ruining my precious cavalcade <laughs> looks like the worst case scenario we projected has come to pass Najee, get in touch with the horvatat get them to provide support to our ground forces yes your highness as you wi you might want to come up with a plan b we've already got things sorted out there You two must be with Almada. I take it you're the ones behind President Dillon's untimely passing. I think I see what's going on. That device is what's presumably made everyone out there go into a frenzy. Smart man. You must be aware of what happened in Cray and Longport. But enough talk. Let's liven things up some more, shall we? After all, we owe it to ourselves, as fellow sponsors, to enjoy this. That we do. With this, all of the pieces are now in place. I hope you don't mind keeping us company until the show's grand finale, Your Highness. Your Highness! Nadja, do you copy? Damn, I can't get through! I've got no choice. I'll have to land this thing in the Oasis. This can't be real. How is this happening? It's probably safe to assume the cause of all this is in there. If I had to guess... That angel we had a run-in with delivered its prize straight to Almada's clutches. Yes, I don't see how it could be anything else. This has to be the work of the fourth Genesis. Yet its effects don't appear to be wholly indiscriminate. The people being controlled must have some sort of shared connection between them. Wait! They're just like those other tourists! That must mean... Right. Those tainted orbal hookahs are the other piece of the puzzle. I don't understand. That doesn't explain why my sister is being affected. She's different. That mask she's wearing is what's giving her grief. Her dancing is amplifying the strength of the interference, driving these people to act so crazy. The question is when she would have gotten that mask from the culprit. Actually, wait. I think I know. It was probably sometime last night. I knew I should have stuck with her. Please tell me you're joking. There's more. What's going on here bears an awful resemblance to what took place a year and a half ago. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Somehow it looks like they've managed to recreate that effect out here in Calvert. What do you mean, that? It couldn't possibly be. Hey, uh, do you know what they're talking about? Yeah, I heard about it from Sal. 
They're referring to when that famous dancer was mind controlled during that takeover in Crossbell. Placel, you were in the area when all that was going down, weren't you? Got any ideas on how to break the spell based on that experience? Hmm. I didn't think you'd be so clued in on what happened. That whole crisis was stopped thanks to a bunch of people coming together in the right places at the right times. But as far as the dancer you're talking about goes, it was a fellow dancer that ultimately did the trick. She brought her back from the depths of darkness and sent that phoenix flying high once more, so to speak. I think we can work with that. What do you think, Sara? I'll do it. Whatever chance there is of bringing Shahina back to normal, I have to take it. <laughs> Can't hold out much longer. Shahina, I'm so sorry. I know I haven't been the best older sister in the world. Hey, what are you talking about? You should watch. Yeah, watch me, sis. I'm gonna shine even brighter. So bright, I'll turn into a golden sun. I'll dance for as long as it takes. You won't have to suffer any longer. <laughs> Miss Sara, take this. It's a spare Zypha. I set it to activate a spirit jammer. Hopefully it helps you reach her. If anyone's dancing can get through to Shahina, it's yours, Sara. You can do it. We're gonna take care of the source. Silphy, you be sure to back her up. What you're doing right now isn't the dancing that was passed down to us. I'm going to dance some sense into you. As your only sister, I'll show you how it's really done. <laughs> Fine. See if I care. I'll just swallow you up too if that's what it takes. I have to keep shining brighter. I won't stop! Barrier synchronization via Genesis, over 70%. Too damn close. You really pushed our luck by brute forcing it, you know. Come on, don't give me crap. We made it through, didn't we? What the heck is this? Hey, you all right in there? Yeah, just peachy. We're gonna go bash some heads and put a stop to this. You guys take care of that parade float. Make sure to contact the CID's Edith branch in the guild while you're at it. All right, leave it to us. No, you don't have to crack the whip so hard on your own friends, do you? But I'll give you a pass, sweetheart. We'll take care of it. My head is completely spinning at this point. But you can be sure I'll be recording everything. The world needs to know about this! <laughs> now this is what I call a show. What a fine way to recreate what happened in Crossbell. That mask must originally come from the workshop, if that's the case. Well, we made use of their emperor back in the day. So I guess turnabout's fair play. <laughs> My, I haven't witnessed such an amusing little spectacle since the serpent ensnared us. That certainly brings back memories. I wonder how she's doing these days.
It's over. Here goes! Reset! Activating skill. <laughs> Too slow! <laughs> Mr. Wang! Activating skill! <laughs> now you won't fart! Fault in your heart! It's over! as far as the elevator will take us. How are we going to go from here? I believe our only option is to use the staircase. Couldn't take your eyes like a good route. Entering back. Assault complete. Collecting data now. Ariel, 
The star has arrived. Deploy shark! It's over. Here goes! Here goes! Do your worst! You My move now! Take that! Take it! I won't let this chance slip by. Cobalt curtain. Activate! Mr. Wang! Activating the skill. Rise and shine, small fry! Activating skill. Blades within me! Destroy! <laughs> Now it's my turn. Activating skill. <laughs> so I can activate. Don't worry, Citri's got your back. Skills altered. Ooh, a treasure chest! Huh. 
Let's get to work. You picked the wrong guy to fight. Pretty strong. You use a charge attack, you know. Battle finished. Let's hurry on ahead. Shut up! Just make with the punching and knock them out! It's over. Activating skill. <laughs> Proceed with caution. Pull out all the stops. I'll crush them all at once. Activating the skill. <laughs> Get to it, mate. Cobalt Kurt. Activate. A chance. Got a whole slew of them. Now you will fight! <laughs> it's over! You won't get away with this! I'll round them up and scatter them! Breathe on to us! I won't let this chance slip by! Dress you all at once. Activating drum. I'll round them up and scatter them. Bring it on. This'll hurt. Now you will fight. <laughs> it's over. You expect. I'm stronger than ever. <sighs> Not easy knocking people out without really hurting them. What took you guys so long anyway? I have no idea what you're talking about.
all right. Now it's my turn to start making demands. Access to the staircase is locked, and only this key card can unlock it. So if you want to progress any farther, you'll have to lend me a hand. <gasps> I am a phantom thief, not a burglar. And my work is only just starting. They might think they've stolen this festival and its participants from us, but I'm gonna steal them right back. But even I can't handle a job like this alone, so I'm gonna give you the honor of helping me. You better not have any problems with that. Uh, puss in what? Oh, whatever. It's a deal then. Let's get moving. We need to make it to the top floor where the awards were going to be presented. I do want to know what you were doing with those clowns, but I won't press you. For now. I've got this! For now? How about never, you invasive <laughs> jerk? Oh, I think I have a pretty good idea how Grim Cat is now. Attacking target. Take that, you As do I. But I think it would be best if we play Now's along a good and pretend we are not in the know. Now you will fart! Brace yourself! Band alive! Free! Oh, I could do better. Huh? Looks like a chest. Assault complete. Collecting data now. Holocore leveled up. <laughs> Could use a charge attack. Attacking target. Energy out activating skill. Some of that. Balls in your court. Twilight kick. Huh? Looks like a chest. Nice. Moving on up. I know you're staring. Away we go. Quit it. <gasps> Even if I did, the sight's already seared into my mind. Ugh! Unsear it then! <laughs> Let's get to work. <laughs> Could use a charge Down. attack, you know. Attacking target. Down! Activating skill. <laughs> Now you will fart! This'll hurt. Aerial Buster!
You picked the wrong guy to fight. Shall I prepare some like good loot? Mr. Arkwright? Enemy stun. Hacking target. Time for shards. and the flames. You did perfect, Fairy. Lounge. The elevator here will take us to the 20th floor. to boost. Blades protect us! Help crush them all at once! Energy out activating the scary! My move now! Got a whole slew of them! Got a whole slew of them! Stay fast! Take the thing! Perfect chance! You see, I'm a Harakabasta! Now we're out of the game skill! You're not getting away! I won't let this chance slip by! I will address you all at once! I will address you all at once! Activating drive! I'll round them up and scatter them! Zypha, activate! My move now. Got a whole slew of them. Now you are fighting. Your crush is impossible. Enemy lost. Miss Alphanet. Be a good stop. Uh, good stuff. I'll give it a try. I hope you like it. Thank you. 
Maintenance mode activated. Skill loadout updated. Good stuff. <laughs> Look! Wow. They're both deeply captivating. <laughs> Sara's holding her own pretty well. Oh, absolutely. It's quite an achievement to be able to keep up with one enhanced to superhuman levels by that mask. It's because she's Shahina's sister. Cure the psycho. <sighs> you came. Our saviors. <laughs> Are we glad to see you? Nina, Mr. Gotti. It looks like neither of them are hurt. Thank Adios. <laughs> Crimcat? What's that spicy cougar doing here? I I'm too young to be a cougar, thank you. What are you doing here, though? Ah, um... Well, I was asked by an actress to come and help, you see. So you're the phantom thief people are talking about. Come to steal our treasure, I take it? I didn't realize you were working hand in hand, or rather, paw in hand, with the Spriggan. We're not friends or anything. Just united in wanting to smash your face in. Not just for what you did to Ida, but for all the hurt you caused Shahina and so many others in Tharbad, too. Could we perhaps tone the noise down? This show is almost at its climax. It would be a shame to miss it over a bout of petty sniping. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry about that, boss. <gasps> Wait. Are you telling me? No way. My name is Gerard Dantes, the head of Almada. So you are the Spriggan. Somehow, this doesn't quite feel like our first encounter. Would you care to join us in watching the show? It seems, perhaps, that this was fated to be. Huh. We plan to see this to the end. But hell if we're gonna do it with you. That'd just rain all over the hard work these kids have put in. <laughs> A pity. Almada's leader. An SS-level threat. Fate notwithstanding, you are correct. This isn't even our first time meeting in this city. What? <gasps> you don't mean... He was that guy in the casino? There I was, thinking Almada had no presence here in this city, when their leader was hiding in plain sight the whole damn time. It's simply a matter of efficiency. I believe in taking a hands-on approach to my work. Whether it is disposing of pawns and abandoning positions, or giving tools and products a first-hand trial. You son of a bitch. Now I get it. There's a lot going on here, but your main goal here was some kind of experiment. To see just what you could pull off by combining those drugs with that device. What? That does fit with what they were trying to do in Cray and Longport, too. So this chaos right now, 
isn't a means to an end. It's an end in itself. Correct. Whether it was securing new distribution routes or testing our ability to use this heirloom to instigate an uprising of sorts, the data we've obtained from this promises to be quite valuable in what is to come. The mass cannot be reused, alas, but I believe this to be a satisfactory application. Good work, Melchior. Thanks, boss. That pretty thing latches on to the darkness and vulnerability in people's hearts, making puppets out of them. I'm glad I was able to steal a spare during the chaos in Crossbell a year and a half ago. They're total monsters. Yes, we may need to increase their threat level to SS+. Huh. That was one of the many crises she was involved in. We will not allow this madness to go on a moment longer. We're taking that Genesis back from you, whatever it takes. Oh, well, you can have it. These devices were designed to eventually come into the hands of their rightful owners regardless. That is their nature. What? Sounds like you have a lot of info you could share with us. Hmm, perhaps. Yet only a fraction of all there is to know. Now that we have seen the fruits of our labor, our work here is done. Withdrawing would be a valid option. However... What? Prince Charid? And Najee, too! I thought the two of you had escaped! <laughs> I'm... <clears throat> Sorry, everyone. Don't tell me. You've had some of that drug, too? <laughs> yep. All it took was a few little droplets in their welcome drink. Here is the final amusement of the festival. I do hope you can keep me at least as entertained as those dancers did. Cat girls and gentlemen, in one corner, we have none other than a crown prince of the desert and his ever so loyal servants. And in the other, we have the simple Spriggan of Edith. Just who between them will emerge victorious? Those golden auras are bad news. We're really in it now. This tension. It's incomparable to that of our fight in the cave. Take care! Well, what are you gonna do? We're gonna neutralize them. We ain't got any other options. They're sponsors to the festival. We need to make them see sense. Right. Sara and Shahina are depending on us, too. Deploying shards. <laughs> 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 A chance. This'll hurt. Lay on the stack up, so all out of your Brace yourself. Get them fast, Barry. Zypha, activate. <laughs> Don't mind me. Accessing. Initialize! Mr. Wen! Make it count, Aaron! <laughs> now or never! Activate your skill! Here's some extra! I owe you one, I'll take that! <laughs> My move now! This'll hurt! Don't crush! Hit him fast, Fairy! Breathe our twist! Payback! 
time. Here goes. We're back to normal. We did it. On the contrary, we've hardly started. This device can do far, far more. For it is capable of stimulating the emotion that lies at the root of all others. Fear. Now, why don't you show me yours? <laughs> Naja! My... my mana is... You gotta be shitting me. It's like what I went through. What in the... It really is what happens to Ida and Eren. Legendary... Veradrogna! A being from a higher plane? Looks like you managed to reel in a big one, boss. Everyone, you need to run! Watch. This time we'll protect you. Guys. Damn it. Hey there, man. Okay, now this is clearly my 
my time to shut. There you are, Mayor Bear. Time to finally put our work to the test. You're up, concierge. Huh? <clears throat> Understood. Emergency vital support is functioning properly. Pseudo Aeon resonance control successfully enabled. Hollow core overclocking capabilities restricted. Wait, what are you doing? Who's interfering with me? No time for questions. Do it! You and that maid set me up, didn't you? Oh, whatever. The Drendel's all yours! Blue flames! Whoa, Nelly! Now that's what I call badass! And there it is! So he clads himself in a beast of dark blue. Isn't that something? <laughs> now, this is unexpected. Dan, he's fine. His essence is stable. Did you butt your way in when he was just about to go berserk? Yes, as per Mr. Arkride's request. <laughs> Just we strike now. Good time to boost. Activating skill. Now! 
Well, what'd you expect? <laughs> Powered up! Stats upgraded. <sighs> the Golden Beast King who serves Arusha. That bodyguard's really something else to be able to fuse with a monster like that. Van! Splendidly fought. <sighs> you did it. Look at you go! Kudos to both sides. Until now, I wasn't quite sure just how you transformed. Whoa! <laughs> Who's bad now, huh? How do you like that? Hmm, rather shrewd of you. Very shrewd. I'm impressed you caught me off guard. <sighs> it's time you call it quits. We're shutting the show down. Alas, it seems you are right. Oh, the golden light is gone. Huh, she did it, huh? to us. Shahina, are you okay? Sara? Oh, what? What have I done? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I used mom's dances all wrong. So many people are hurt because... because of... Shahina, snap out of it. The show still has to go on, silly. The parade isn't over yet. Let's finish what we both started, and show everyone who supported us just how bright our future is, all right? Sora! coming together. You can do it, girls! Go for it! Is everybody watching out there? Let's make this a film festival for the record books! Come on, everyone! What a ride this has been. I just... hope this means things have worked out. Not to burst your bubble, hun, but with the CID in town, I don't know how much anyone is going to be able to cover this event. Maybe. But I've got a feeling readers will still get a little taste of just how hot and fiery things turned out. Marvelous! This parade is exceeding all of my wildest dreams! It's beautiful. Yeah, it really is. So that's what it means to perform live. Really puts into perspective what she accomplished in Crossbell. What'd you say? Just thinking out- ah! Why are you kneeling so close to me? Sorry, but your injuries need tending to. Oh, Over already? That was a little anticlimactic, if you ask me. What should we do, boss? <laughs> 
I think we're fine. These results were more than enough for our purposes. I'm sure our Spriggan friend will agree. <sighs> Wipe that cocky grin off your ugly mug. We won't let you escape. Escape? Whatever gave you that idea? Watch out, everyone! Incoming! Holy mother of idiots! Whoa there! Taking this a little far, don't you think? Oh, I didn't realize you were there, Melchior. I'm ever so sorry. No need to apologize. You know me, Viola. I always love a good thrill. You have a bad habit of gratuitously pushing people's buttons, Melchior. She does share some of the blame, you realize. In either case, they are merely engaging in their usual repartee. The hell I am! It's you, bastards. Look! That puppeteer is with them, too! Stay right there! <clears throat> Ciao! Thanks for keeping me entertained. Will it or nil it, we seem bound by fate. I'm sure we'll meet again. Not so fast! Tell me one thing. Just how far do you plan on taking this madness? Come now, Spriggan. You know the answer as well as I do. There are no limits to the lengths we will go. That stealth cruiser is cutting-edge tech. These guys are better equipped than I thought. So it seems. That specific ship isn't even on the market yet. Oh, crap. Well, I better get going. I'll let you guys take it from here. So long! Wait! Your wounds! I... And there she goes. She could have at least said a proper goodbye. <laughs> Nina! Are you alright? Oh, come on now. <laughs> Judith! There you are! I've been so worried about you ever since we got separated. And, oh no, you look so exhausted. Did something happen? <sighs> I'm fine! <sighs> really, I've just been running around this whole time, that's all. Oh, Judith, did you see her? Grimcat was here in the flesh, baby! If she's not a scintillating spectacle, I don't know who is! That woman is the living embodiment of one of my 108 ideal forms. Ah, oh, I've got to do something. I need to get to work on my next movie. One that'll put that damn lom in his place. <laughs> Already have your eyes on the next prize, Mr. Gotti? Eh, we could all learn a little from his determination. Though maybe not the part that's waist deep in the gutters. We recovered another Genesis, but at what cost? Great-grandfather, mom, grandmother. Well, I'd say this whole mess has given us a lot of food for thought. But our clients are safe and sound. Well, mostly. And I don't think we could have wrapped things up much better than we did. I can see us getting a juicy bonus for our work, too. So, good job, guys. You all get a passing grade. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I'm not sure where you get off thinking you, of all people, can grade us. I suppose that now all of this is over. This concludes my current assignment. A job well done, Mr. Arkride. Everyone? Right back at you, Reset. I really don't know what we would have done without you. You've been so attentive and supportive, not to mention the way you saved Van when he was in danger. Yeah, you've been super helpful to have around. You ever think about trading places with our boss? Work go way smoother with you running the show. I'm right here! 
Though, I'd uh, be lying if I said I hadn't had the same thoughts. It was my pleasure. I had a wonderful time working with all of you. Seriously. She has now sworn to win against Nina Fenley next year in both festivals after acknowledging the younger actress as her true equal. Between that and Salvatore Gotti already teasing his next work, I'd venture to say the future has quite a lot in store for us. Next, the Quincy Company recently released a new addition to its lineup. Man, I don't know how they can be so carefree after all the shit that went down. Especially Director Deviant. Takes a weird pair of balls to only think about how to make a movie out of it. <laughs> he's resilient, all right. The kind of man who always finds something on the floor every time he's knocked down. The news isn't saying much about the drugs or organized crime, though. Not that I'm especially surprised about that. Yeah, that'd just put people on edge. Guessing it's probably Renee's people and the Principality hushing things up. I was worried the Prince and Najee would be out for a while, so it's good they recovered right away. Sara and Shahina were able to pay off their debts, too. Yeah, doubt those loan sharks were expecting to get it all back in one go. Thank you for everything. If it weren't for you all, who knows where I'd be right now. Arusha must be really looking out for me. Hey, come on. Don't sell yourself too short, yeah? You did all the hard work. We just offered a little moral support, that's all. But still... I wish we had more time to hang out. One of these days, you'll have to teach me some of your moves, okay? Sure, sounds like a plan. I promise to pay you back for everything you've done. See you guys later! They were both such lovely people. I'm so glad we got to meet them. It sounds like the future is looking bright for them, too, if they have such a big show confirmed already. Yeah, not everyone gets to collaborate with a group like Crossbell's Ark and Seal right out the door. They've got to be feeling some pressure, jumping into the big leagues so quickly. But they're up for it, I'm sure. <laughs> You've always had a ton of suspicious criminal contacts, but now you're drowning in public superstars, too. Top actresses, big league directors, promising dancers. Bet you must be feeling like you've struck gold. What with all these famous chicks all over you lately? Uh, what do you mean? Well, Van? <sighs> Why'd you always gotta go right for my jugular? I was fine with this staying a quiet, one-man operation, you know? Now all of a sudden, I've got a load of employees, and both the CID and Elsheim Royals have their eyes on me. What a pain. I think you're mostly to blame for that, though. Mostly? It's all his fault. I thought you made a positive impression on the prince, though. He seemed to really like you. I have no excuse for my earlier lapse. Words cannot express how grateful I am you were able to contain the situation for me. That was quite the ride we ended up on, indeed. But, all things considered, this has been a fruitful experience in several ways. As promised, I threw in a bonus on top of your base reward, so you have something extra to look forward to. It will arrive separately. <laughs> Appreciate it, your highness. I'll be on the lookout for it. All that being said, this has certainly been a colorful little adventure, hasn't it? And I don't just mean with Almada and the Genesis. You're an intriguing fellow yourself, Van. I understand what Marduk sees in Arkride Solutions now. You can most certainly count on my continued support. Yeah, I wouldn't call that liking. He was putting me on his radar. Granted, if he wants to give me some fat bonuses, who am I to say no? <laughs> mm, it's definitely over 70% his fault. 70? Try 120. Still, nothing good comes from biting off more than you can chew. Better to keep this operation focused. 
Besides, why do you have to bring Marduk's name up? They've got nothing to do with us now. Reset helping out was just a one-time thing. Now I'm back to being just a regular old tester. Huh? Uh, what's with all the confusion? Um, well... Yo, Agnes, you keeping stuff from him again? I didn't mean to. I really only intended that with you. Excuse me. Huh, guess we got another client. I'll be right there. Funny. I must be seeing things. Hello there. It's good to see you all again. Even if it's been less than a week since we last met. Talk about a stickler for time. Not even a minute late. I trust you didn't get lost on the way here? Not at all. I've known where Mr. Arkwright lives for quite some time. I look forward to working with you all. What? Now just one damn minute. What's this all- After the events of the other day, Marduk HQ undertook a thorough investigation and risk assessment of the situation. The possibility was raised that, on this exceptional occasion, the continued presence of an on-site concierge may be warranted. As a result, my subsequent internal application to be assigned directly to Arkwright Solutions long-term was granted. And so, here I am. Uh, uh... Um... It sounds like she'll be able to help out with a lot, including Mare, while keeping the details secret from Marduk HQ. Plus, she can teach us more about shards and do a whole bunch of other useful stuff for us. Yeah, there was something about having us try out some cutting-edge Orbal Net service, too. That's right. I would greatly benefit from the wider pool of testers, rather than just Mr. Arkwright alone. Of course, I will take care to ensure the terms of your contracts are fair and beneficial to you all. I don't think any of us are worried on that count, as long as you're involved. Uh... Oh, and I have, of course, already signed a lease for one of the rooms on the third floor and deposited my belongings there. I believe you are behind on temporary employment tax paperwork and insurance applications for everyone here. I would be happy to help with those matters and more besides. So please, let me know if I can be of service. Oh, we couldn't possibly leave everything to you. I'll do all I can to handle my fair share, too. Ooh, but first, you should give me a crash course on how to use those shard footholds. Gah! Can you people stop making decisions without me? Gotta keep this up. Then I'll update your rank. Got it. That's pretty good, I guess. <laughs> I'm truly honored. Whether you need assistance in office or personal matters, know that there is nothing I, Reset Twinings, cannot handle. 